be looking real smart, right? You know, he jumps ship. He probably knows what's coming. He sees what's coming. I wonder if you see Zuckerberg step down by the time the 2024 elections come, especially if it's leaning towards the Republicans. I don't know if it even matters because I feel like the Democrats are going to come for him too. Um, there's just a very, you see the anti-tech momentum building. And it's not surprising to see these people cash out more and more and more. You know, he just, he just went and bought, Zuckerberg bought like another 100 acres on some uh, island in Hawaii. So, I mean, Hawaii's an island. You can see them trying to get set up. They're going to cash out, go live their amazing life. You know, I I talk to attorneys from time to time, and no, I'm not giving any kind of legal advice. I'm just talking about our conversation, candid conversations about what's going on in the world. And Section 230 comes up, and you just wonder, on a long enough timeline, Section 230 doesn't stay the, the same forever. It's It needs an update, and how that update comes out is going to affect, could affect any kind of social media platform, any kind of review site. You know, anywhere where there's information, you know, being published on the internet from, you know, who knows, you know, Yelp and uh, Google Reviews and Glassdoor, anywhere there's information could be greatly affected. But especially the social media platforms, right? And you just know that this witch hunt's coming. They're just getting set up to get out. I mean, you know, Facebook changed its name. Dorsey got out. Stocks are through the roof. Everyone's richer than ever. They're going to cash out, sit on who knows how many tens of billions of dollars and just say, screw this, I'm out. Because they know what's coming. You can't be surprised here. But, uh, I mean, Google, the Google people are, you got to imagine they're coming for Google at some point, right? Just like they did Microsoft. But it says, uh, uh, I think Google's been selling together. They sold $42.9 billion. I don't know. I just, I keep looking at this and thinking, you know, is Zuckerberg even in the mix four years from now? The 2022 elections are probably going to change the shape of things the way, it, you know, if you look at the stats right now, it's going to be an interesting election year. And then uh, if things kind of stay the way they are on this trend and the 2024 election is going to be a nightmare. I just think these guys are at a point where it's knocking years off their life to be involved of these or leading and running these technology juggernauts. I mean, how many times do you want to sit in front of Congress? But I know that if they do come after 230, which I think if the Republicans get, you know, they get what they want in 2022 and they get the presidency back, something's going to happen there. And I'm just, you know, hang on tight because it's going to really just upshift the whole internet. Things are changing, whether people like it or not. And if it doesn't happen now, it will at some point. So I think they're just cashing out and getting set up before the real drama hits. Why not sell now before the stock collapses? I think the Twitter stock's down quite a bit over the last year or two. Don't quote me on that. But uh, you see this anti-tech backlash coming. It's more and more stuff's coming out. Instagram's not making the world a better place. TikTok's not making the world a better place. There, the Bloomberg article just came out saying economists are worried about the people that are posting on TikTok about economy because their views are so kind of screwed up. It's like, what do you think? You got people all day long who don't even understand anything about the economy commenting about the economy. You got people who don't know anything about medicine commenting about medicine. You got people who don't know nothing about nothing to talk about everything all day long. And then you wonder why the world's getting more screwed up. It's I talk about that on another channel I do content for. It's uh, Employment Boost. That's a company that does resume writing, career coaching, interview coaching, career planning. Like the advice over there is don't get your... Who are you getting your advice from? You know, you if people don't go listen to... Um, those that actually run companies or executives or the hiring managers or, you know, wealthy people in general. I, I bring up the Prof G account sometimes because people send me content from him. He's a professor at an Ivy League school, sold one of his companies for $100 million. But his channel's not very big. It's like, because we don't want to tune in to the things that really help us. We want to go tune in to some of the garbage that makes us feel better, such as 
how much content's on LinkedIn that says um, work less and tell your boss you want to get a, get paid more? Yeah, that ends up with a hundred thousand likes. How's that working out for you though? Go tell your boss you want to work twenty seven hours a week and you want a forty thousand dollar raise. Um, go try that. Get back to me. <laughs> Drop a comment below. I'm, I'm curious how that worked out for you. But this is what content is. So when you look at that and how we're not getting our information from good sources or from you know viewpoints that have some kind of research and data behind them the whole you know keeping up with lifestyle stuff on instagram the hatred that's on twitter is any of this stuff we're all we're just getting dumber we hate each other more we're out there you know spending money to post stuff on instagram to try to keep up with someone else that we're competing with and they're coming to find out they they rented that stuff they don't even own it and then we're getting our like stock advice and our career advice from places you know like TikTok, often from people that really shouldn't be giving you know it's one of those things like i don't like taking any kind of like i don't like listening to investment insights unless i know the person's been successful investing and uh that's how i always looked at it. it's like i'm not taking you know, I own a handful of companies and businesses. I invest in startups. I'm not listening to anybody um, telling me how to invest money if they if they've never they don't have a track record of successfully investing money. You know, where I grew up, no one had money, and then when you got some money, every, everybody who didn't have money was trying to tell you how to get rich. Like, what are you talking about? You're broke. Um, and that's how I feel like you know a lot of the career advice too. It, it's coming from people that weren't hiring managers that's never ran a business that don't have have they ever sat you know around a boardroom table you know for a startup and they're trying to map out you know what you know each hiring manager wants to shape the departments to help this company grow for example i kind of want to listen to those people a little bit more than someone that's just you know really good at making videos online but we don't do that we uh we tend to get our advice from all the wrong places so across the board you're going to see where there's going to be this anti-social media attack there's probably they're going to come for section 230 at some point i can see why zuckerberg's just going to start cashing out he's probably going to go build his compound out in hawaii go live his best life and i can't blame him because at, so, at some point when you get so much money it's not worth the stress anymore there's a lot of things that, you know, most jobs that pay over six figures either are a lot of work or they come with a lot of stress or they require a very high skill. And sometimes it's worth it. But it gets to a point to once you once you have so much money that stress isn't worth it anymore. You know, you're trying to figure out how to live a happy life and a long life. And I, I think that's why Dorsey's like, I got enough money, I'm out. I got Square going on. They're coming for Twitter. I don't want to deal with this. Peace out. I gotta imagine Zuckerberg's not far behind, and then you, we'll eventually start hearing about you know Snapchat and TikTok and some of these other things that don't add a tremendous amount of value to the world. Um, and then I just feel like Google's gonna get it at some point because that's what the government does. If they can uh, get a, a bunch of news headlines and uh, they came from Microsoft, they're gonna come for Google. That's only a matter of time. But anyways, if you have any thoughts on this, drop a comment below. If there's an article or something going on you want me to comment about, you uh, can hit me up on Instagram at jamesphillip313. Send me a link to a news story, and I'll try to get you featured on the show. But until then, I'm going to catch you on the next one.